What's happening? It's your man Valentine, baby. We're getting ready to sit down. Talented young dude, Mr. Omar Salgado. Mr. White Cap, I'm gonna call him right now. What's happening, homie? <laughs> you good? How are you? All right. Man, we see you got a... injured, man. <laughs> yeah. Because we all been waiting for you to play. Yeah. I think we're all waiting for to get you get you out there, but how long you gonna be out? Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, I'll be back by, uh, you know, beginning of September, but uh, it all depends on uh, how it heals. You, you really don't know, so. Yeah. And let's ask, how did it happen, man? Yeah, it, uh, Happened with the U20 national team in uh, in Uruguay. Yeah. We were playing uh, Uruguay, and a uh, defender slide tackled me, and it was unfortunate. I jumped over him, and when I landed, I just you know broke. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that, ooh, that just didn't sound good. Yeah. But I mean, it's healing up good, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's going good. I mean, I had surgery uh, two weeks ago, so yeah. it's uh, it's getting better, and hopefully, I can you know get back on the field as soon as possible. When you get rehab? Uh, I've been st I started you know the three days after surgery, so. Okay. Uh, Hopefully they can get me out quick. <laughs> hey, you know that rehab nowadays, man, it, it gets you back really, really fast. Yeah. So, I mean, looking at that, six weeks. Yeah, for sure. Isn't gonna be that long. Yeah. Now, what's it like sitting on the sidelines when you're hurt, though? Yeah, it's it's, it's really <laughs> frustrating. It's uh, you know, it's it's the worst. I I'd, I'd never been injured before, and it's the first time. I I don't like it at all. I guess oh, it's man. it's uh it's horrible. It sucks. Yeah. It sucks <laughs> being drafted, man. I mean, being drafted and then getting here and start yeah. playing and getting hurt. Nah. Man, what's it like being a professional, though, man? Because you're young, yeah. and all these other cats, I mean, they're a little older than you are, but you a young dude on the team. So what's it like being a professional? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a different experience. You know, uh, coming into to the team, it's coming in as a young guy, you have to work hard and, you know, show the, the older guys that, that uh, you, you deserve to be there, you know, yeah. gain the respect. And once you gain the respect, you know, the, the, the things get easier. Exactly. Now, were you going to go to school if you didn't get drafted? Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to. I uh, still, you know, want to finish a... Uh, college and, and want to get a degree but uh for now I'm, I'm you know concentrated on soccer and and uh hopefully that works out for me <laughs> now, did your mom and dad say look now nah, you need to go back to school yeah they they told me i need to finish high school for sure and i uh i need two more classes to finish and, and i'll be done but uh yeah they they for sure did tell me that are you finishing them here and back in the u.s no back in the u.s uh yeah. when i go home I, I need to take the two last tests and hopefully i'm done <laughs> now we all know. They're giving you, like, some special privileges, man. You got to take, oh, I'm on my so got to, yeah, you know me. <laughs> you get any of that? Uh, no, 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 not in school. I mean, uh, in the U.S., <laughs> in the U.S., it's uh, football, baseball, and all the other sports. Uh, exactly. Soccer comes in the end. You know, so I was going to ask that question, too. I mean, usually, I mean, the only recognition soccer is getting right now is because of the U.S. team. And, I mean, soccer is huge, but you get that basketball, football, baseball, and then even golf maybe ahead of soccer. I mean, what, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's a world sport. I think, uh, you know, soccer is played everywhere in the world. It, in the U.S., it's really the only country where, where it's not the, the favorite sport. It's, exactly. Uh, it's a lot different from, from the whole world, but, uh, you know, you, you, you kind of have to deserve it here in the U.S. I mean, uh, football, basketball is, is really entertaining sports. I think, uh, you know, they, they deserve it for now, but uh, mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, uh, we can pick it up. You know, the league is, is, is getting a lot better, you know, every year. And, and gaining teams, and I think that they can do it and pull it off. Nice. Now, what's it like being a white cap, though, man? Was that was that your first team that you wanted to be uh, drafted by, or was there somebody else out there that you're looking to go to? Yeah, I think that you know this club is, is a, it's a great club. I think that uh, you know what they're trying to do is is great. You know, uh, the the staff and, and uh, the people that are ahead of, of everyone is is really the best yeah. that there could be here, and and uh, I'm I'm excited to to come back on the field and, and make a difference. Now, when you scored your first goal, though, I mean, what was that feeling like? Yeah, it was it was awesome. Probably uh, the best feeling for sure. I mean, uh, you know, like like you said before, you you always have the the people who love you and they hate you, and <laughs> right there you can kind of tell them to, to kind of be quiet for a little bit. <laughs> now, did you get to keep the ball? No, 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 I did not. Not that game. <laughs> See, in, in all these other sports, if you get a first, man, you get to keep the ball. Yeah, no, it's because we lost, so we're oh, disappointed. No. You don't want the ball. No, you yeah. don't want the ball. No, no, no. <laughs> nah, so, man. How do you stay focused, though? Because now you're sitting on the bench for a little while. And, I mean, how do you stay focused to get ready to play when you get better? Yeah, I think that, you know, you just, like you said, you have to stay stay concentrated on what, what you want to do. You know, want to come back as, as quickly as possible, and that means, you know, eating right, mm -hmm. sleeping right, doing all the things right that will bring you back as quickly as possible. Okay. And we know you're not going to – you can't play on the national team now because you won't be back in time, right? Uh, 
Hopefully, I mean uh, the next the next uh, camp is in October, so okay. hopefully I can be back for that one and, and uh, you know keep making a difference there. No Olympics for you then? Uh, no, 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 no Olympics. No. Uh, U.S. didn't qualify actually. I know. <laughs> yeah. What's with that? Yeah, no, uh, it was uh, it was unfortunate, I guess. Uh, no worries, Canada didn't qualify either. So yeah, Canada didn't qualify either. <laughs> <laughs> Man, now what's 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 your best asset that you bring to the Whitecaps? Uh, you know, I I think that. Coming in uh, this year, I, I changed positions and it helped me out a lot to uh, to bring in a, a lot of different kind of aspects to the game. I yeah. think that uh, playing on the left wing, I, I can take on defenders and, and crossing the ball, which is you know what we need on some games. Okay, nice. Now, what's pregame meals, man? Everybody has a pregame meal. What's your pregame meal? Uh, I like to eat pasta. You know, uh, just uh, fettuccine Alfredo is probably my favorite for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Anybody out there, you know, Italians, fettuccine Alfredo, get to them. <laughs> so, that's some obstacles and sacrifice for you. Being a young dude, man, there might not be that many, but there has to be some obstacles and sacrifice that you've gone through. Yeah, for sure. I think that, uh, you know, I left home when I was 15. That, mm -hmm. that was a, a pretty big thing for me. I guess uh, leaving home was difficult, but uh, it's something that you have to sacrifice. You know, yeah. your friends, family. All that school, uh, something that, that you have to sacrifice to, to, if you want to, you know, bring it to the next level. Nice. Now we got an on the grind question. The on the grind question is: Everybody out there, they trying to get to your shoes right now, and they want to be where you are, but not getting any love from nobody. They can't get to wherever they need to go. What can you tell them to inspire them to basically stay on the grind to be the next Omar Salgado? Yeah, I think that you know you can't really ever give up. It's it's really a a team game, so you have to be a a team player and, and when it comes to being selfish you have to be selfish you know yeah. uh, it's it's really uh just never giving up nice man so i guess we got some tickets we're gonna get some tickets away and we're giving them to uh it's uh i think it's the la galaxy they're playing vancouver versus la right i mean la is this like a rival or is this, uh seattle the rival more yeah i think that uh you know seattle is more of our rivalry but you know, the, the, the team that everybody wants to come watch and, and see is obviously Galaxy. They got David Beckham, they got uh, Robbie Keane, they have Landon Donovan. So yeah. it's, a, it's a star team that, that uh, you know, they, uh, they beat us last week 3-0. So, I know. you know, we want that revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so this giveaway, though, we're giving away these two tickets and uh, for the June, June 8th, July 18th game. And you want to send the email to onthegrindtv at shaw.ca with Omar on the subject line, draw date July 16th. Remember that. This is what we're giving away. So how do you want to be remembered in soccer, man, once you leave the game? Uh, hopefully, you know, for, for being one of the, the great American soccer players, I think that, that uh, that's, that's really my goal for now, and hopefully I can accomplish it. Nice. Now, do you, study, do you study the game not just the way it's played, but all the people that have come before you? Yeah, I think that that's, that's important. You know, uh, you have to kind of look at other players and, and other aspects of the game, you know, to, to kind of learn what, what the sport is about. And, yeah. and uh, you know, coming in as a rookie was, was the most difficult part. You know, I didn't know what to expect, so you have to, you have to learn. <laughs> they, how, does, how does the team treat you when you came in as a rookie? You have to buy dinner? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you have to carry the balls, uh, you know, carry all, all the equipment into, into training. So they don't let you carry the shoes or shine the shoes or nothing? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So, when you come back, what can we, what can we expect? Yeah, hopefully uh, a stronger, you know, uh, better, faster, faster player than, than what I was when I got injured. So, I mean, right now I'm just working on that and hopefully, you know, getting on the pitch as soon as possible. Nice. Man, I want to thank you for coming out, man. Thank you. This is a, uh, it's been a pleasure for me because you're a young dude and you got your head on your shoulders. So, <laughs> thank you your mom much. and dad did something right. And <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you for coming out, man. <laughs> this you. is my man, Omar Salgado. Vancouver Whitecaps, if you don't know, go out and get his jersey. What number are you? 17. 17. Get, <laughs> buy a million 17 jerseys. You know what I mean? Do your thing. Next week's guest, we got Michael Fraser and Dr. Jody Samara, host of the Million Dollar Neighborhood. I'm your man Valentine, baby. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man Valentine. Omar Salgado, Sarah Kay, get at me. <laughs>